All right, what's going on, guys, and welcome back. It's been a while. Um, I made a video discussing where I've been and all that, but we are back, at least for right now, and we're going to be talking about NHL 22 and what I and what some of you guys would like to see in the new game. As of right now, there is still no trailers or features or anything that has really been confirmed yet, but hopefully that changes soon. Before we get into it, I just want to make it clear that I am not going to be discussing anything Hockey Ultimate Team related, as I feel that if EA wants to improve this game as a whole, EA needs to look at other game modes that are lacking. Speaking of EA, I also want to make it clear that this video isn't going to be about shitting on them and their game. I think people tend to forget that if it weren't for them, we wouldn't even have an NHL game to play every year. And also, keep in mind that NHL 21 was produced and released throughout a global pandemic, so I'm sure there is some stuff that they wanted to add to this current game that is out, but they sadly couldn't get to it because of what's been going on. So with all this being said, let's get into the video. This is going to be a quick segment, but with the new consoles coming out at the end of 2020, this has set up NHL 22 to be the first NHL game specifically made for the new generation of consoles. We all know how NHL 15 went when it released for the PS4 and Xbox One, but I do think EA has learned from that situation, and I am excited to see what we may be seeing this coming fall. Looking at games like NBA 2K21 on the new consoles, that game looks incredible, and I'm really excited to see what the NHL does with the new hardware. At the end of the day, I am a gameplay over graphics and presentation player anyway, but I still think NHL 22 has potential to be an amazing looking game, and we may also be seeing it on a different engine, which could allow for a ton of new animations and other in-game movements. It's always interesting when sport titles have their first go around with the new consoles, and I really hope NHL 22 makes me not regret getting the Xbox Series X a few months back. As for online game modes, my wish list pretty much remains the same from last year. To start things off, I'm once again asking for GM Connected. This has been highly requested for many years now, and it honestly sucks that we just still don't have it. I think what makes it even worse is we literally did have it at one point, all the way back on NHL 13 and 14 on the PS3 and Xbox 360. On those games, the game mode was very difficult to play, the sim engine was painfully slow, and there were other issues, but I'm sure the new consoles can easily make this game mode playable and enjoyable now. I probably should have mentioned this earlier for those who don't know what I'm talking about, but GM Connected is a normal GM or franchise mode, but it is online, and each team in the league could be user controlled. If you had 30 friends and they all had NHL, you could all literally play with each other, make trades with each other, and compete for the Stanley Cup against each other. The concept of the game mode has always been a great one, but the problem EA made was implementing it before it was able to be on a platform that could run it properly. It's a shame they gave up on it and we never got to see it on the Xbox One and PS4, but hopefully this changes in NHL 22. My next feature is another one that I wanted from last year, and that is roster sharing. For those of you who are not familiar with this, it is a feature that allows people to upload the rosters they created in the game for anyone in the world to use. Basically, anyone could create any player they wanted on any team and put it out there for anyone to use. The main way it would probably be used if they put it in would be to have full draft classes in franchise mode or throwback rosters from certain years. While we're on the topic of custom rosters, I would just like to give a shout out to Snipe and Score Productions. He is another NHL YouTuber who spends countless hours doing roster builds from previous years and then implementing them into franchise modes or Stanley Cup rematches. The effort, time, and detail that he puts into them is unbelievable and it's a shame that his hard work can't be shared with the rest of the community. As a content creator on this game, I also think it would be an amazing opportunity for many new video ideas. One off the top of my head would be what if videos. For example, say someone recreated the 2015-16 NHL roster and 2016 draft class, you can make a video along the lines of what if Steven Stamco signed with the Leafs in 2016, and then you could simulate to the current day and see how it would have changed the league. Who knows, maybe the Leafs actually win a playoff round in 2017, 2018, or 2019, or 2020, or 2021. And who knows, maybe John Tavares remains an Islander. As you can see, the possibilities are endless, and aside from that, EA has implemented it already into some of their other games such as Madden. Like GM Connected, this has been requested for many years now, and what better time to add it with the first release on a new console. That's pretty much it as for what I want to see in the online game modes. I guess the only other thing that I would throw in would be crossplay. Basically, that means if you and your friend have different consoles, you could play with or against each other. We've seen this more and more recently in titles such as COD Warzone and Fortnite, and it would be cool to see this come to NHL as well. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the online stuff. So let's move on to the offline features.
To start off with the offline game modes, I would like to quickly touch on Bia Pro. Personally, I still found this year's Bia Pro to be a disappointment, but that doesn't mean it wasn't better than what was there the year prior. Basically, all I'm hoping is that EA doesn't just sit on it for a few years now that they finally showed some love to it. It may not have been the best upgrade to the game mode, but please at least build off what you've done so far. As for franchise mode, I was happy to see more in-depth records being held. They added franchise records, individual records, and this was a step in the right direction. They also added the new trade deadline mode, which I really enjoyed. When it comes to new things I want, I just want more things to see and do. In addition of the all-star break would be cool, maybe each year you have the choice to pick one of your top three players on the roster to attend the game, and they get a boost in morale or something for a few weeks from it. Aside from that, being able to play in it would be really cool as well, especially the skills competition aspect of it. I know I said earlier that I was a gameplay first and presentation second kind of person, but I want to see cutscenes added to the game mode as well. Show clips of warm-ups, the anthem, the three stars of the game, banner raises, better in arena atmosphere. In franchise mode, playing in the playoffs and the Stanley Cup finals don't feel any more special than the regular season games. Yeah, there are towels, but change something up. On the cosmetic side of things, I would like the option to be able to rebrand and edit already existing teams. I like how if you create a team and use them in franchise mode, they give you the option to edit the team's uniforms and logos in the offseason. I think it would be cool if you could do this for already established NHL teams as well. For example, example, if you control the Anaheim Ducks, how cool would it be to have the option to create a new third jersey or go back to an older look? I think it would be cool to have the choice to go back to the old Mighty Duck jerseys full time. And then the game also makes it so that the crowd isn't still wearing the old orange jerseys anymore, so it makes it feel like the identity has actually changed. This isn't stuff that needs to be implemented, but it would be cool and just add to the experience. Staying on the cosmetic side of things, I think the creation features need an update as well. We still have the same jersey and arena template since NHL 17. I also think that all the logos past and present, including each team's shoulder patches, should be available to be edited. On top of this, I would love to have the freedom to create my own logo and team identity. NBA 2K has this and allows people to download others' creations, kind of like what I was saying with roster sharing, but with the creation features. Basically, if I'm being honest, I would love to see a complete ripoff of the NBA 2K creation features because, in my opinion, they are the best in any sports game. I could go on and on about things I would like to see, but I do want to feature some of your guys' ideas as well, so let's get into that now. So quite a while ago on my community tab, I put out that I was going to be making this video and that I wanted to hear what you guys wanted as well. We got a decent amount of responses and we're going to go through a few of them. The first one comes from Grant G Productions and they would like to see smarter AI GMs, an updated cup slash playoff win celebration. Like for example, if someone scores in overtime, there's like a whole like dog pile on the player. Completely agree that would be awesome to see. They also would like to see jersey retirements as well as no movement clauses and contracts in franchise mode. Along with that, they would like to see improved player development and more custom team options like jerseys, socks, fonts, and logos. Something that really caught my eye that he said was a fixed attribute and overall system. Basically, he's saying that he wants it to reflect how players play in real life. McDavid may not be the best defensively, however, his defensive stats are high to keep him at a high overall, which kind of doesn't seem right in the simulation. To go along with that, he also would like secondary player types to help with chemistry, and if not that, a revamped chemistry and coaching system. I absolutely love this idea. I think it would help a lot with the simulation, making it more realistic, and will be awesome to see. They also would like a winter classic and an all-star weekend slash game. I completely agree with everything said in this comment, especially the overall and attribute system. I think if EA can balance having high overall players and still making them weak in certain areas, it could add a lot to franchise mode. So he would like to see more added to franchise mode, along with more parts to be a pro, like possibly warm-ups. He also would like to see more customizable things like player tendencies. His example is a player's likeness to try and outskate a defender like McDavid tends to do. That would definitely be really cool to see. Real Coaches is also also another one of his suggestions as well as cross-platform. Very solid wants and hopefully we get to see some of these. Oil Dragon 93 would like to see an upgrade with the scoreboards. I agree with him. I think it would be awesome to see the NBCSN scoreboards for example on Wednesday nights. And maybe if your team plays a Canadian team on a Saturday you then have the Hockey Night in Canada scoreboard as well. Nothing major but it definitely would be a cool little touch. He also mentions an upgrade with the created team features when it comes to logos, specifically the Atlanta Thrashers. Completely agree there as well. Bring back the Thrashers. Hype the Snipe brought up very interesting points in his suggestion. He says movement 
movements in the draft where a player can be a top five for half the season and then gets injured then he drops in ranking or if a player is getting drafted is having a really good season they can move up in the draft and with that their potential and overall could go up or down depending on how they played in juniors he would also like to see a feature added where there are draft steals in the later rounds i absolutely love this idea if you play franchise mode a few times you almost always knew that in the upcoming drafts guys like a two roddy or shane wright were guaranteed to be some of the top picks it would be cool to see their potential and draft stock rise even more or potentially fall depending on their season also with the goalies i completely agree i would love to see attendee be able to go in the top 10 every now and then it's common to see franchise potential forwards every few years but you almost never see a franchise goalie. Gavin, Fluffy Lorax, and many others would like to see the franchise return to PC, and I couldn't agree more. Seeing how people can mod the game and add different rosters and whatnot, I think it would be an amazing experience. Madden returned to PC when they switched to the Frostbite engine, so hopefully we see the same thing happen with NHL. Another recommendation I saw a few times was be a ref mode. I'm gonna be completely honest, if EA were to put the time in to make this a thing, I think people would actually lose their minds. This would be something that most likely would look fun on the surface, but after watching the AI play each other for more than 30 seconds would just make people want to throw their controller through their TV. I don't see this ever being a thing, and if it were to ever be added, I don't see it being successful or well-liked among the fans. Maybe I am wrong, though. Nicholas G said he would like the ability to control the ECHL team in franchise mode, and as someone who personally enjoys the micromanaging of franchise mode, I definitely would like to see this as well. Most, if not all, NHL teams, if I'm not mistaken, have an ECHL affiliate now, so it would be nice to incorporate that. Topakush Gaming, if I'm pronouncing that wrong, I am sorry. Sorry, they would like to see a first person POV come to be a pro. While this is highly unlikely and probably won't happen, I think it is interesting to bring up as the Frostbite engine in which NHL 22 will be played on for the first time. It was originally made for first person shooters, highly unlikely, but who knows, once again, Frostbite was made for first person shooter games, so maybe there is a chance. All right, so I think I'm going to end this video here. Let me know what you guys thought of this video. Do you agree with what was discussed? Do you want to see other things? Let me know in the comments. Anyway, as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.